Hey everyone, welcome back. I am at Salem Pond, which of course is a very popular bird watching spot here in the community, but I'm not here to do any bird watching. I'm actually here to check out the Christmas light display. I've also brought some of my vegan cottage pie with me. After we're done walking around and checking out the lights, then I'll show you guys how to make it. Before we get started, make sure you like, follow, and subscribe for more. Well everyone, it's cold, I'm hungry, so I think it's time for us to have our vegan cottage pie, but first I've got to show you how to make it. Alright, here's how to make my cottage pie. Now this is a slow cooker recipe that finishes in the oven, so it does have a few more steps than most of my recipes, but I promise it's worth it. To our slow cooker we'll add nutritional yeast, thyme, rosemary, oregano, salt, and pepper. And we'll also throw in some tomato paste. Next we'll add our veggies. We have onion, garlic, peas, and carrots. Then we'll go ahead and add in our green lentils, navy beans, and corn. Next, we'll add some diced tomato, vegan Worcestershire sauce, and a little bit of liquid aminos. And then we'll top this all off with some vegetable broth. Cook on low for 8 hours, and then once it's done cooking, just make sure that you give it a good stir. Next, we'll make our mashed potatoes. Now, I usually just eyeball the ingredients when making mashed potatoes, but I will have some rough measurements in the description for you guys. We'll take boiled or steamed potatoes and add in some vegan butter, salt, pepper, and unflavored unsweetened plant milk. I'm using almond milk. Go ahead and mash this all together, adding milk and butter is needed to get a smooth but scoopable consistency. Now we'll assemble our pies. First, you want to make sure that you're using an oven safe container for this. Now I like to use small oven safe ceramics so everyone gets their own individual pie. This is just a really fun way to serve Christmas dinner and all of your guests will be super impressed when they get their own pie. I recommend filling the container two thirds of the way with the filling and then the rest of the way with potatoes. Use the potatoes to create a seal around the edge and then finish it by creating a design with the back of a fork. Bake these at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes. And that's it! These are super easy, super cozy, and perfect for the holidays. Alright, let's give this a try. I know we don't have the best lighting here. Alright, nice big bite. Mm. You guys, this is absolutely delicious. Perfect for the holidays. You're gonna love it. Alright everyone, that's it for this video. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.